Throwback to the 3rd of October 2021. And then I saw this area of the park that was a teacup behind me. So that's why the fire is So I can look at the view when I'm eating. Oh, this is actually free. Woohoo! Actually, something really scary happened just now. and I'm gonna walk to the south side center. There's some kind of like cycling marathon going on because like there's so many people here but I have to go up to this bridge which is called the Tender Ford Bridge and the Golden Jubilee Bridge in order to get to the south side center. Actually, I might take photos. So I'm on top of the bridge now, and the sun has just come out. And I realize this is quite a nice view because you can basically see the London Eye. I think that's is that Westminster Bridge. I think it is. And then you can kind of see the sun over there. So this is the actual Southwest Center. I didn't though. I'm back at the Jubilee Garden. I'll find a quieter spot and see if I can find my drone here as the sun is coming up. So I just tried to find my drone here and this is actually a restricted area but then it's kind of obvious because I like the kind of hot and a lot of gas breakers but I just wanted to see if I can use it to help me take some photos but it wouldn't even like fly up so then because I actually came here on Monday and I wanted to take a photo with this in the eye so I tried like stepping on my camera there inside of there or like putting it on my camera there inside of there which I saw a lot of people do but I realized the photo is not really nice itself and then I saw this area of the park and I was like, oh actually, I can put my tripod here, which is right in front of this building. And then I can set the timer for 10 seconds and run over there and take a photo. So that's what I did. So I'm actually walking to the Waterloo Millennium Green Garden right now. And I I'm walking past this Leak Street Arches, which is one of the attractions in Waterloo. So there's something special about these posts. So just now there was a car here, and then because I had to go through. And then these poles went down. And then I think like there's someone monitoring it here on it. And then it went back up again after the car went through. That quite cool. So now I'm gonna keep walking to the Waterloo Millennium Green. I was trying to find the Waterloo Millennium Green Park, but then when I got here, it told me I had to go another way, but there isn't really like another way I can go to. So, but I found this quite cool gravity that says Waterloo because we are at Waterloo Station so I tried to take a photo of it but I couldn't take, include the W so here's a photo I think to be honest the special thing about this is this clock so now I just researched what um because there's this Queen Elizabeth Hall around here and it happens to be 7 minutes away and also in this direction so that's where I'm going to go now. Apparently, the Royal Festival Hall is over there. And I can't see a rooftop though. So I'm going to ask inside if we can access the rooftop. So this is Frederick Chopin. 
and he moved from 1810 to 1849. I didn't take a picture with this, and I didn't have my last girl was a teacup behind me. Oh, and that is actually the Hayward building. I'm gonna see if we have to pay, and he's so than a microphone. Um, so the rooftop is actually at the Queen Elizabeth Hall. There's a little photo taken spot area here, and I just took a photo of it, even though I don't know what this is supposed to be represent. Oh, actually, this is quite a nice photo. Well. If you go up these stairs, you can access the rooftop as well. So this is the Hayward Gallery. Oh, there's quite a cool sculpture there. Um, as it is a list of things to do. I'm gonna go in to see what things you can see. Oh, I think this is the and then go to my next question. So that was the bridge that I was on this morning, and it's so windy when I took a photo, like my hair can't stay still. I think there is a marathon going on near that bridge. So I'm on my way to Tate Walker now and I just walked up um, Temple Station and I want to vlog it because I want to remember every station I've been to because my goal is to get off at every station. So I'm here right now. So, so this is the Little Temple Garden. So this lady is called Henry something. Oh, she was the president of the National British Woman Temple. And there's also a statue here, so I'm gonna take a photo of this two statues. Oh, so this is the city of London Tower, and there's around um, 10 minutes left until I get to the Tate Morgan. I saw this like quite nice building here. It is called a bridge house and I looked up online and I realized it was a restaurant so I might see if it's open as it's now around half one and it is I might have some food so this is the Black Friday bridge and it is named after William Pitt the Elder in 1760 and it was first opened on 6th of November 1869 by Her Majesty Queen Victoria. Oh, that's why Victoria is given to Oh, so the bridge house wasn't a restaurant because it's hard to go in, but there was no one there. But there's like six minutes left until I get to the King Gallery. And I saw this public restaurant. I might go inside and I'm sorry. This is Rain Garden, but it's literally this small. I ordered this Sunday roast chicken and I just asked for the serving because I want to take a photo of this view and now I'm going to pull back over there so I can look at the view when I'm eating. So I just finished up at the bubble and the Sunday roast was really tasty and I was also quite full from it. Also, when I came here, this area of the restaurant was literally full of people, but now there's only like two people left. So this is the tank Walker that I was looking for. Oh, this is actually free. Woohoo! Oh, um, so you have to scan this QR code to get the ticket. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so there are actually 10 floors in total, but luckily 5 to 10 is tall, so basically I only have 0 to 4, and also over here, 0 to 6. So on the ground floor, the first photo taking spot is this love lock over. This is quite a cool painting. I think the Archivist aim is to emerge everyday life objects into his paintings 
So that's why here there are loads of combs. I'm sorry, but how am I supposed to pick up on I know it's called black and white, but anyone could have known that. This is quite a cool um, art. So I just found out that this forgery is influenced by text ranging from simply writing to work by down to the 14th century Italian philosophy. So there's actually a Yinka Shoni Bear bookshelf here. I think some of the books are from British Library. And this is quite a cool spot for a photo as well. I thought there was a football match going on outside. The chanting is actually coming from this video. So I just managed to fly my drone here and this is the second time that I was able to do that. But I didn't fly out at all as there are airplanes nearby. So I don't want like the drone to make an accident happen. So I just flew it up really high and then I turn it around and then I put it back up down again. So it's now 6.25 p.m. and the sun is about to set because the sunset time is 6.43 p.m. So it's gonna get dark soon. So I have to go home before it gets dark for safety reasons. Actually, something really scary happened just now. Basically, I was inside the the table the museum and then I was looking at a photo and then a guy was next to me and he was looking at the photo and then he suddenly started talking to me and I thought it was fine like I thought he was just talking you know and then suddenly he was like oh are you on your own today and I was, I was like yeah and then he was like oh do you want to look around together? And then I told him like to go to museums on my own. And it seems like he doesn't get that. Some people just enjoy their own company. And then he was like, what? He was like, can I have my number? And then he started following me. And then I was like, can you stop following me? And then that's when he stopped following me. Well, I mean, hopefully I'll never see him in any museum again. So it's future Kaying here. I'm actually editing this on the 6th of November. And actually on the 25th of October, that day, I was also having a conversation with my friend about like how she thinks that if you're alone, then you're sad. But I don't think that's true at all. Like some people just like being on their own, you know? And I feel like this issue really needs to be addressed more and which is why it inspired me to write a song called Being Alone Means They're Sad. And I also in the lyrics kind of talk about the experience that I just told you guys about and um hopefully I'm gonna be releasing that song in twenty. 22 um so if you guys want to hear it then don't forget to subscribe and i've got another drone clip to insert which i will talk a bit about the tape modern history as that drone clip was also flown near there so tape modern according to tape.org.uk it's London's most recognizable and best loved building. Before Tate Modern became a gallery, it was actually the iconic power station, which was built in two phases between 1947 and 1963. This building was originally designed by Sir Giles Gilbert Scott. Sorry if I pronounced his name wrong. But then in 1992, the Taste trustees announced that they wanted to have a separate gallery for international modern and contemporary art in London. And in 1996, the design plans were announced and it 
basically needed 12 million grants from the English Partnership Regeneration Agency. And actually, as I mentioned, this was a iconic power station in London, and it originally had huge machinery, and after they started to build the Tate Modern, all the machinery got removed, and the only thing that was left was the original steel structure and the brickwork. And the turbine hall inside became a dramatic entrance and display area, and the boiler house became the galleries. After all the construction work was finished, it opened in May 2000, and more than 14 million people have visited Tate Modern since. I thought this was a tube station, but actually this is a train station. It's kind of like the Apparently, to get to the Black Bar Station, we have to walk across this bridge, but I feel like this bridge is, like, it looks way better in real life. Anyways, I am gonna end this vlog here. If you enjoyed watching this vlog, don't forget to subscribe, like, share with your friends, and I've got no more footage left, so... Bye!